Hello everyone. The discussions tool is a great way to engage your students and encourage them to think critically about their coursework. In this video, you will learn how to create, manage, and grade course discussions. Let's take a look. Make sure you're logged into your Blackboard account and navigate to a course of your choice. Click the Discussions tab on the course menu at the top of the page. The discussions page shows all of the course and group discussions in one location. You can use folders to organize discussions by topic, type, or other criteria of your choice. Select the Add Folder button, type a name for the folder, add a description, and choose the desired visibility option. To view the discussion settings, select the button on the right side. Here you can permit students to create discussion topics in the course if desired. Instructors can add a new discussion from two different course locations. First you can create a new discussion from the discussion page by choosing the new discussion button on the top right side of the page. Alternatively, you can add a new discussion directly from the content page. Choose the Content tab on the top navigation menu. Select the Create button. And then select Discussions under Participation Engagement section. Now let's create a new discussion. Navigate to the Discussions menu and then select the New Discussion button. Type a meaningful discussion title at the top of the page. Next, type the discussion instructions in the editor and use the toolbar to format text, add a table, insert an image, attach files, or embed multimedia. Next, click the Discussion Settings button on the right side of the page and choose the necessary options. Display on course content page, post first, prevent editing, allow anonymous responses and replies, and grade discussion. Make sure you check the display on course content page option if you want the students to see a discussion link in the content area. If you want the discussion to count for a grade, select the Grade Discussion option to expand the settings. Choose a due date, time, category, grade type, and maximum points. Optionally, attach a grading rubric for consistency and clarity of expectations. If you're planning to use small groups instead of a class discussion, select the Assign to Groups link to choose one or more groups to participate in the discussion topic. When you're finished, select the Save button to confirm the settings. For graded discussions, a new grade column will appear in the gradebook with the same name. Finally, choose the desired option from the visibility menu at the top of the page. Students won't see a discussion in your course until you make it visible. New discussion topics appear at the top of the page. They can be reordered in the list or moved into a folder by dragging the item to a new location. If you selected the Display on Course Content page option in the discussion settings, the students will see a discussion link in the content area. You can also edit or delete a discussion topic from the More Options menu on the right side. Now let's open a discussion topic and look at the options available. On the Discussions tab, you can edit or delete the Discussion Topic Instructions with the More Options button, or modify the Discussion Settings on the right side of the page.
student responses appear below the discussion instructions in the participants section below the discussion settings you can see who has participated in the discussion and filter the responses by selecting the student's name at the top of the page you will see one or two additional menus depending on the type of discussion on the student activity tab you can access discussion analysis for the entire class including number of active students, the average post per student, average word count, and several other metrics. Just below the summary analysis there's a section that displays students who haven't participated in the discussion topic yet. If desired you can send these students a message by selecting the envelope icon on the right side. At the bottom of the page, the responses with the most replies are displayed so that you can view what responses students engaged with the most. Clicking a response will take you directly to the discussion thread. Also, there's a top participant section at the bottom right side of the page. You can choose a student's name to view their individual discussion analysis page, including the word count, number of responses, number of replies, and more. The third and final tab at the top of the page is the Grades and Participation tab. This page provides a place to review and grade student submissions and displays other helpful grading information such as how many students have participated, how many submissions need to be graded, and grades that need to be posted. If desired, you can filter the student grading status to view only the students who submitted a discussion post for faster grading. Blackboard also provides a convenient send message button on the right side of the grading page to contact one or more of your students about their discussion participation. To grade a submission, select a student's name to open the grading submission page. The student's responses and replies appear highlighted on the submission page. On the right side, the discussion analysis provides an in-depth look at each student's discussion participation, word count, sentence complexity, and more. If you don't need to see the discussion analysis, go to the More Options menu on the right side and select Hide Discussion Analysis. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to reach out to the eLearning support team.